This is a quick look at the Red Rider BB gun made by Daisy. Um, they first started making these, these BB guns in 1938 to resemble the Winchester rifle. Red Rider comes from the comic strip character of the same name, as we can see him engraved here on the handle. Uh, <clears throat> this is a spring piston lever action air rifle. It's gravity fed magazine that holds up to 650 BBs. Um, and as I mentioned, you can see that that has the engraved stock. This is not a printed graphic. This is actually engraved into the handle. Uh, the newer models such as this are capable of shooting BBs at 350 feet per second with a range of about uh, 10 yards, I'd say. Anything over that and you really start to see inaccuracy in the the range. I think most of us probably think, when we think of the Red Rider, we think back to the Christmas Story movie, where Ralphie wants one for Christmas. Uh, in the movie, they describe the gun as having a compass and a sundial, which is located in the stock. However, the author of the original story was actually describing the Buck Jones Davy, Daisy rifle, which did actually have both the compass and the sundial. However, the Red Rider models had neither. In 2008, Daisy did release a special edition Red Rider BB gun, which featured the compass and the sundial, and also actually had the signature of Fred Harmon, who was the creator of the Red Rider comic strip. That, that particular special edition was limited to 1,500 units, so I believe you can no longer obtain it uh, directly. Um, I, am, I am disappointed to see in this gun that it's, it's actually no longer made in the U.S., of course. This, is, uh, this particular model, uh, most likely most of their models, are actually made in China, as you can see here. Uh, really disappointing to see a piece of Americana like this uh, being manufactured overseas and no longer in the States. Um, <clears throat> For, actually, for comparison's sake, too, um, this camera doesn't zoom, there we a little bit of zoom out. I actually have the, the Crossman 760 Pump Master. Uh, the reason I, I have this as a Comparo is that it's, it's about the same money. For this approximately the same money, you can pick this gun up, which also shoots pellets as well as BBs, uh, and it's made here in the U.S. They actually assemble these in the U.S.A., uh, and for the most part, this is a superior weapon, a superior gun to the to the Red Rider. It's more accurate. It's more powerful. Uh, this gun will shoot up to 50 yards at 620 feet per second, compared to the 10 yards at 350 feet per second of the Red Rider. Uh, this is definitely a more dangerous gun. So if you're buying this for a young person. The Red Rider is probably the way to go. I know on the, the directions they recommend the Pump Master is for six, ages 16 and up, and the Red Rider for ages 10 and up. And I would probably agree with that. I've been shooting both of these these guns, and I would have to agree the Crossman's probably too much gun for a 10 year old, at least in an unsupervised capacity. Uh, plus, you know, if you really want that feel of of Ralphie open it up under the tree and you want that lever action Winchester feel. This is this is a solidly made gun. It has a good weight to it. It's all it's wood and metal as opposed to these crossmans which are now mostly plastic actually. The stock and everything on this is plastic. It it, it doesn't necessarily feel cheap, but it definitely feels plasticky. Um <clears throat> So if, if you're looking for something for a young kid, th this Red Rider is the way to go. It, 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 it's really a nice gun. Um, and if, you're, if you want to take out Black Bart, you know you got to have the Red Rider. Old Blue here is the only thing that can stop Black Bart. So let's go ahead. Let me uh, um, take it outside here and take it for a shot or two. Uh, I have the Daisy here pre-loaded pre with BBs which uh, you load right here at the top of the barrel. There's a little flap that you slide open and you just drop the BBs right in. I would actually recommend if you are buying the BBs, get the BB container with the funneled spout 
makes it a lot easier, less mess. Or, or buy yourself a, a small funnel to use to feed this. Especially if you have kids doing it, uh, you probably have a lot less cleanup involved. <laughs> um, so it is gravity fed. There is a little window here on the barrel. I don't know if you can see the BB in there, little silver BB. You kind of just tilt it down, tilt it up. One of the BB, once you can see the BB locked into the position there, you just go ahead and cock the gun and you're ready to go. And we can see Black Bart there. I don't know if you can see that aluminum can out there. I have a little aluminum can hanging from a tree, a little orange can. So Black Bart's going to get his desserts here. Boom. Don't know if you could hear it, but Black Bart just went down. This is an, this is an excellent little gun for basically 20 odd dollars. And I think any kid would be, would be happy to have it under the tree. So this definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, this has been a quick look at the Red Rider BB gun from Daisy. Thanks.